assume you get a lot of scenes with Wendy, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, talk about uh, making my job easy. Yeah. I mean, it's hard, you know. It's it's hard enough, you know, fitting into a, uh, coming in as a as a guest and fitting in as a reoccurring. But it's been so easy dealing with. Uh, cast and crew because they're they're so gracious in the way they receive people not just myself but other other athletes other uh, other actors that, right. that are part of the show and it's a credit to their their the job they do but also their, their comfort and security they have in, in, in themselves so I, I really have appreciated that and Wendy's been amazing she's yeah, funny fun. I had a, I had an enjoyable uh, scene recently with her and another really talented actor legend and I just was stuck in the middle of them, watching them go at it, and uh, and I just I just was in awe of. You're like, if I have a line here, I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, I, really, I was just I was just in awe of watching so, them go to work. And, so uh, you basically play yourself, right? I, I play an exaggerated version of myself. How do you like? Do you like your reading scripts of how you are? You know? Yeah. Well, you know, there's uh, there's there's definitely um, I've given you know I mean Mara has been in the writing staff have been incredibly communicating communicative communicative with me. Uh -huh. Is that a word? It is. It okay, is. good. Just checking America, making sure that is yeah. a word. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've stayed in communication with me and uh, and knowing that, it, you know, I, you know, the show, you know, having acted before and having, having, and continuing acting is, is this is an opportunity to take a, you know, take my brand, take what people know of me and, uh, but also start to stretch it, uh -huh. put it, you know, see, see me in areas and, and situations that, you know, maybe I respond differently than the people expected me to, to see me respond. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, you know, Rick Fox, the former athlete, is not so much, you know, the same guy anymore. You know, I've been right, retired right. for four years, and yeah. I think uh, people that, that watch the show will start to see a different uh, Rick Fox, and may, you know, maybe a more exaggerated version of who I really am. But I'm, I'm willing to have fun with that. You know, and each thing is like a generation sort of thing, right? Do you like get? Noticed a little bit more as Red Fox, or Red, oh, sorry, set your name wrong. <laughs> the actor, or still as as you know, sports. You know what? I went, it happens overseas, which yeah. was surprising. I took my son to uh, to Europe. We went to London, Paris, Milan, Amsterdam. Don't tell his mom. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, Rome. At least, so we traveled a little bit in Europe this summer, and. I thought it was I thought it was going to be a return to you know the basketball uh -huh. recognition and it wasn't I mean I, people people saw me for some of the, you know, some of the work I've done in the past which as an actor which was surprising but but actually rewarding uh -huh. because it has been a minute I've been out of the game for four years and uh -huh. I've and I have worked fortunately a lot and uh, so yeah I am starting to get a generation of uh, of younger 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 kids and uh, and teens who. Who either know me from One Tree Hill or oh, Dirt yeah. or these different shows, exactly. and they're saying, "Whoa, hold on, that's that's the act." By the way, did you know that I played basketball at one point? It's all generational, man. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna let you get in there, get your picture taken. You Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> Had a great time talking <laughs> to you. Man.